the issue of adolescent fertility is important on both health and social grounds. Children born to very young mothers are at increased risk of sickness and death. The young mothers are also at a risk of death during and after delivery, says Jen Ruth Acheng, the Minister for Health. The teenage pregnancies, the high rate of teenage pregnancies is what is contributing to the high maternal mortality rate because these are young girls whose bodies are not yet ready for delivery. And so you as the people whom your communities listen to, you need to rise up and speak to them and tell them about the dangers of teenage pregnancy. If we handle it together with the parliament of Uganda, I am very sure that we shall make headway. She raised the concern at the launch of the 6th Uganda Bureau of Statistics Demographic Health Survey. According to the new survey, adolescent childbearing is more common in rural areas than urban areas. The 2016 survey seeks to help government promote and ensure that every Ugandan receives quality health care. The majority of these indicators is not the sole responsibility of the health sector. And as Olive clearly mentioned, we need to join hands with many of the other ministries like education, agriculture, gender, and so on and so forth. The release of the survey comes at a time when Uganda, through the National Population Council, is reviewing the 2008 National Population Policy and developing the National Roadmap on the Demographic Dividend. The survey provides information on health, on fertility, child mortality, nutritional status. UNICEF wishes to congratulate you both for the progress it has made in increasing the geographical disaggregation of the data from six sub-regions in 1988 when DHS started, you know, was introduced to the country to 15 statistical sub-regions in 2016. The UDHS results generated from ministries, departments and agencies provide up-to-date baseline data for the country to monitor and evaluate population health and nutrition programs on a regular basis.